welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me in another little adventure here on the channel guys um this time we're gonna jump into Talos principle episode two part two should i say this will be episode one of our new adventure oh my god this looks amazing oh my god floating idols so the game it's uh okay old already has a few months i waited for it to be on discount i've been waiting to play this game for about three years so today is the day um i feel lucky blessed i enjoyed the first talos principle everything about it the game the music the atmosphere the puzzles Everything spent hours and hours and hours in there. Let's see how much uh, time this guy is gonna eat. Oh, we got the mechanical noises this time. First person. garden oh my god hear now my voice and know that i am your friend and i am called elohim friend he's not our maker anymore he's our friend um i think i enjoyed more the first person view let's see if we can change it into that oh my god it's uh, a lot of stuff in here Gameplay, titles, crosshair, interface, um, show time, what time, oh, no, um, and this guy, uh, no, yeah, third person, no play, back, I'll play with those later, oh, we got our little robot back, hey, how there, how are you, buddy? Looking just outstanding. Amazing. Free view. Gotta love it. Whee! We can jump! Oh, moves pretty fast. Well, there's a vase on the ground. Can we pick it up? No? Okay. <gasps> I'm gonna rust! <laughs> so, Elohim is our friend. Not the maker, okay? This is pretty interesting. Um, <laughs> here we go with the puzzles again. Mm, but what's in there? Oh, okay. I see some flags in the distance in there. The jammer! Yeah. Okay. What's this? Oh my god, it looks like a snake. Oh, this is so beautiful. Why is it not burning? I want it burning. Oh, that's so beautiful. No! A glitch in the matrix. Hello, him. What have you done? Boop. Oh, I meant to jump. Oh, there. I meant only to jump. <laughs> Take it. Put it here. Jump here. Oh, I see the stuff, Majigas gonna get into the business right away oh I like the way that one is made oh looks good looks good me likes it I don't think they're here oh the music is still amazing of course so I'm afraid I gotta tell you this. This is gonna take a lot more than the other one. Because in the other one, I didn't care about all the six. This land Shh. is but a dream. 
district. You will stay here only for a little while. That's what you Soon, think. You will awaken in a new world. Okay. But first, you must undertake the trials of initiation. They will help me prepare your vessel. My vessel. Your vessel. Okay. So do not what? be afraid of these dream figures and their messages. They are merely aspects of yourself. As am I, after a fashion. Mmm. Sorry, I got a brownie here. Gotta consume it. What is this? Four. Yellow. Okay. Five. Red. And three. Green. Amazing. So I guess three here. These are the greens. Well, oh, there is uh, more in that way. Okay. But I think it was blocked that way. Alright. Within reach. symbols of the process by which our people were created. Really? <clears throat> it's serious now. I don't think it's nothing here. Fencing! This one looks like a door in here, if I ever saw one. Um, yeah. <laughs> Pushes me over. Oh, okay, I see. I see, I see, I see, I see what you did in here. I see. Let's see if there is something in this other side before taking the cube. Um cannot interact with these boys in here. Okay. Do I really have to go over that fence? I would like to go over this wall in here, actually. Well, what about this gate? Why not? I want to get in there. Cannot interact with those majigis in there. Uh, they put those just to make sure you don't jump over them. But what's with the funky looking switch in here? I mean, this one looks like a switch in here that you can slide down. I'm moving. I got a feeling that one's sliding. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Let us go. So that one is done, that one is done, this one. Two big steps, if you say so. Um, boop. Okay, I see. Well done, well done. So... This is gonna take a lot more than the previous series. Just because I wanna discover everything that is to discover, get the achievements, explore everything, you know, enjoy it, breathe it in. So, the green one, right? Yeah. Uh, pick sigil. Hey, I'm a champ. Yellows. Oh, how many? Four. Uh, 
Windy day! I see the windy machine in here. Uh, okay. Nice! I like it! Very good. I know, right? I'm a genius. Wait until the other puzzles will come. Uh, well, let's uh, grab this one. Maybe we'll have something to do with it later. I see kind of a short wall in here. You know? Gotta wonder. Gotta wonder. Okay. Let's go for this guy. Static pressure. Oh, two of them in there. Amazing. Give me that. Good stuff! Hey, I'm tall. Oh! That one looks uh, different in there. Okay. Let's go. We're here, I believe. I believe. Single slit experiment. Single slit. Oh, yeah, I see. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Makes sense, I guess. So, that will be pushed off if I activate that guy. Okay. Well, let's get in there. Perfect. Thank you very much. Give me that. There's something in the back in here. Uh, apparently not. Are you sure there's nothing in the back? So that one interrupted... Oh, okay, I see. Come in here, my cube! I need you! So this one only pushes me forward. And I cannot take that fan. Okay. Me thinks I understand. Let's see. Yep, I think we can move on. Unless there is something behind that but behind that i only get out so no there's nothing last uh, piece of the puzzle a versatile contraption Boop. okay got it can i jam something else from here no okay um give me a cube something no wow well now There's another one in there, blocking this one. Okay, so we need to get in here and grab the next boy. Um, but... Oh, I see. So this gem will have to jump that. Okay, and now we can grab this one. That one stays open, of course. You may linger in my garden for as long as you wish. That's exactly what I'm gonna but do. Remember, my child, that the new world awaits you. Yeah. And this place is only a dream. 
Ah, yes. Excellent. Excellent. Elohim. I want to go out and explore, mister. I, I want to go out. What's with the flags? Hmm, okay. Let's move on. So we got the yellows. I believe they came... Uh, no. They came here. Pick the gym. Pick. Pick. Pick one. Come on. Pick it. Why don't you pick it? You picked right. We can get five. Proud of all my children. But especially me, right? Out of a world of ruins, they have built a new Jerusalem. Well. Wow. And there, your brothers and sisters await you to celebrate your birth. Oh, really? That's interesting. Brothers and sisters. That's something new. So this one is called Fundamental Connections. So that one opens that. As soon as we pick this one up, we ain't gonna need it. I guess these are the basics. You're coming with me. Stay here. Maybe I'll need you later. Actually, more like the other side. Like that. Perfect, thank you. Um, well, next. Prismatic diffraction. Always complicated words. Always. Why aren't you connected? Oh, he needs power. Okay, good stuff. Got the power right in here. So this one is connecting to... Well, if I connect it to that, I won't be able to connect it in here. Uh, so, let's try this. Yep, words. Got it! Just trying, you know, just trying. Okay. Oh, we're gonna get to visit the flanks. Destructive interference. Uh, beautiful. What's with the flags, mister? Oh, huh? yeah, did this scare me? So we get two of them. Red, red. Oh, well, yeah, because we got one in there as well. So we will need either cube. Why isn't this one open? Oh, this one requires the blue as well. <clears throat> okay. Let's open that one first. Grab this one, Jiggy. So now, basically, we don't need that one open anymore. Me thinks. Uh, let's bring the red through the back. Eh, uh, stop it this. I know. Oh, I can connect it with only one. Perfect. And you will come through here. Just like that. And you will connect that into that in here. And life is beautiful. We got it! I didn't see any stars. I wonder if there are any stars in this level. Or secrets, you know? They gotta be, gotta be, gotta be. Gotta find them all. Two colors, two doors. Man, this place... It's amazingly beautiful. Too bad we don't have frogs in here. So... Red. I see the blue in there. It's gonna have to come in there. Oh, I think we got fishes. Okay. So 
So this one is open by the rain. Oh, we got a cube. But where is the blue? Oh, sorry. They didn't saw your little one. <laughs> um, or in the straight line from there to that. So it's gonna have to be somewhere like in here, maybe. Yeah, this is like the training ground, a rehearsal from uh, for what we did. Ascension awaits for what we did in the last one. So if the ascension awaits, we better ascend it, right? Now, hear my advice. A new world awaits you, full of dangers and mysteries, signs and wonders. Things that I, in my garden, could never have imagined. In that world, you will have to be careful and smart and curious. Uh -huh. But above all else, you will have to be human. Okay, got it. So the last one open. That was the exit. I think we got them all. Well, how do I get out? It's through here? What? So we entered through there. Through here, actually. But that gave with the yellows. We did all the reds. And now this one open. Okay. We made these guys. We made those guys. We didn't do these guys. Okay, got it, got it. Oh my god, this is gonna be difficult, isn't it? Why does it have to be so difficult, mister? What do I have in here? Oh, made it wrong. Made it wrong. Don't worry, I'm pretty good with this stuff for Step now. Step into the light, child. Step into the light. Lilith. Uh, let's go. App initial. Finish the calibration process. That's what it said in there. Mm. Brownie. What? Ah, you're awake. Oh, welcome to the world of the living. Are you serious now? <sighs> That's not an easy question to answer. But the first step is this. You've been born. Your body was completed. You were booted up and now you're here. And rather confused. Yep. Don't worry. Everyone is confused at first. You see, we all start out without a full knowledge of our own history. So we have the freedom to form our own opinions. Amazing. Of course. You want the short version or the long version? Um. Exactly. You asked for it. Give it to me. A long time ago, our ancestors dominated this planet. We call ourselves human like they did, but they were organic. They built an advanced technological civilization, but unfortunately their impact on the ecosphere caused changes in the climate and an extremely contagious virus was released from the permafrost. That sounds familiar. Shit. something our historians still debate why weren't they more prepared 
Why did they invest so many resources into making war and so few into useful research? Yeah, it's hard to understand. Yeah, I know, right? But no matter the reason, in the end, they simply ran out of time. A team led by a scientist, Alexandra Drennan, began a project that was intended to create a new humanity. But knowing that there wasn't enough time, Drennan initiated a process, a series of iterations inside a simulation that would lead to the emergence of true artificial intelligence. That's why we remember Drennan as the progenitor. The simulation was controlled by Elohim, who wasn't really meant to be intelligent in the proper sense of the word, but it all took much longer than anyone had expected. And over the centuries, Elohim actually became sentient. We knew that. Sentient it. and afraid. He didn't want the simulation to end, so he tried to cheat. I feel sorry for him, really. The whole simulation was built around learning to defy him. It must have been hard to be in that position. Nope. When the simulation was completed, he became part of all of us, and it really changed him. It freed him, I think. You'll always hear him in sleep mode, taking care of you. That's what he is, after all. A caretaker. Nice. Yes. Milton. Prince Milton, the intelligence in charge of the archive, a project initiated by Arkady Chernyshevsky, which was meant to collect all of humankind's knowledge. His story is a lot like Elohim's, but Milton became the ultimate cynic. They say he's part of us too, in some way. It did. Long after our ancestors died out, the first new human was born. We call her the Founder, although the name she took was Athena. She then woke up Cornelius and used Tathias. Together, using the tools left behind by the progenitor's team, they created 10 more humans. These 12 who followed the founder are known as the first companions. Nice. Athena and the first companions then set out to rebuild the world, and they founded the city of New Jerusalem. But then one day, she suddenly disappeared. Many still await her return. Before the Founder vanished, she set a goal for this city. We call it THE Goal. <laughs> Capital G and all. To make 1,000 new humans, and so complete New Jerusalem. Well, that's the official story, the way the Mayor tells it. Some of the first companions, like Byron, don't believe that Athena really wanted us to stop growing. They think her ideas have been twisted and embellished. They may be right, but I didn't see Athena very much in the years before she left. Maybe actually leaving the simulation and seeing the destruction left behind by our ancestors changed her mind. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them. When you're done, head outside. They're waiting for you. Who? Your birth is quite the event. Why? You've only just been born, and already you step right into a major controversy. The goal, as most people understand it, was fulfilled the moment you were born. Oh, so we are now, number 1,000. New Jerusalem is complete, and we can live in balance, without damaging the world like our ancestors did. That's the orthodox view, I suppose. But there are many who disagree. You'll have to figure out where you stand for yourself. Hmm. You won't age like our ancestors did, but of course, there is always some wear and tear. You should probably schedule a checkup every decade or so. Oh. oh 
and be a bit careful with water. <laughs> you won't die if it rains or anything, but we're running low on insulation material. I wouldn't go swimming if I were you. Got it. Okay, let's go. Oh, one more thing. What? Like all citizens of New Jerusalem, you have access to the interface, which you can use to read the news, chat to your fellow citizens, and so on. Oh, really? It's a crucial tool. And modular, too. You can easily add new functions. Oh. Just don't subscribe to too many newsletters at once. Tempini. Neath. PD. Uh, treat everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Discord, guys. Uh, regardless of their number. Number. Probably when they were born. So, Neath was 33. <laughs> Our frogs people. Discussion is now banned. I can't. Jimmy. Mia. Rolox 430. Okay. Uh lock. Oh! All the uh, perfect. Did you have any more questions? Number 33. Me? Yeah, you. Well, as you can tell by my number, I'm quite old. I wasn't one of the first companions, but I did know Athena personally. She and Cornelius taught me a lot. Although I suppose I've made a few improvements here and there since those days, we didn't have a lot to work with in the beginning. I... I haven't really thought about it. This is all I've done for the last few centuries, and... I like doing it. I guess for now I'll just take a break and we'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, this robot has a flashlight in here. It's kind of dark. Should clean the windows, miss. Okay, I guess we can. Institute for Applied Pneumatics, L facility. Oh. Well, you could use a maintenance guy in here. None of the 1000 was. Oh my god. Look, it's 1K. That's me, 1K. Okay, 1K. Welcome to New Jerusalem. Well, Shouldn't the mayor be starting his speech? This should be interesting. At least give him a chance. Dear citizens of New Jerusalem, many years ago, when the founder stepped forth from the simulation, this was a land of ruins. Our ancestors, in their hubris, undermined the natural foundations on which their world had been built. Because of their arrogance, our species found itself on the brink of annihilation. The Founder aimed to set us on a new course. You never even met the Founder. Her vision was of a city, a new civilization that would know its limits. Mm. It would not repeat the mistakes of the past, nor impose its will on this earth. Wow. To that end, she set the great goal we have been striving towards. One thousand new humans. And today we have... Oh dear, what's that? Oh dear. What is that? People of New Jerusalem. Prometheus. I am Prometheus, and I will reveal that which was hidden. The flame has awoken and summons you. Who is brave enough to answer its call? Me, we me, await me, you me. Upon our island, where. Curse you, Pandora. You will not chain me again. Oh my god, didn't expect that one coming. Uh, 
Uh, here we go with the train, I guess. Whatever that one is. Or that's the free view. The third person view. I told you we should have investigated those energy readings. And I told him there's something up with those structures. The mayor's just being cautious. I cannot move. This isn't caution, it's stagnation. Exploration? Too dangerous. Expansion? Too dangerous. We barely even scavenge anymore. That's not good. You call it stagnation, I call it balance. And I call you an idiot. Perfect. Here's a thought. Try to be a little more diplomatic when you talk to the mayor. See what I'm working with here, 1K? Yeah. I'm gonna need a fresh pair of eyes on this expedition. Someone who hasn't spent several centuries hearing about the goal and the founder and all that nonsense. That's me. If you're up for an adventure, meet us at the conference room. Well done. Oh my god, this is big. Did they build all this stuff by themselves? Here we are. Hi there, Barney. Open the door. Do I have control? Attend briefing. Where did those guys disappear? Hey, where are you? Where, where, where are the other two guys? Uh, be humble. Recognize the limits. We are not above nature. Well, not sure about that. Be constant, remember the goal. Perfection is unchanging. Josephus, 558. Uh, can I talk with this guy? Can I punch him in the face? <laughs> ah! What's broken now? Oh, are you the good the mechanic? Light your eyes up. Uh, okay, so they have problems, that's for sure. Power's out! Uh, can I put some color on my body here? I would like that very much. Oh, it's written 1000 on my chest. Amazing. Oh my god, that looks... Shit. That all looks right. good. Listen up. I know you're all having fun down there. But the grid is overloaded again, so maybe you could switch off your personal consoles or your lawn mowers. Or whatever the hell you've all decided to switch on all at once. <laughs> I might not be around to babysit you for a while, and you don't want stuff breaking while Pellegrino's in charge, do you? Mm. That's it. That's it. Don't worry, Wonkay. I see you there in the elevator. I'll have you moving again in a jiffy. Gracias. Great way to start life in the city, huh? Yeah. Uh, I want to see that statue in there. What the hell is a jiffy? These bloody language libraries. <laughs> and a jiffy. Yeah. Top level coming up. New interface. Connect available. Refreshing interface. Done. What? 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 What the fuck was that? Um... <laughs> End of trend. Oh, okay. Um. Wow, that's very interesting. If you look down there, I cannot approach you more. Oh, 
Sorry. <laughs> this guy, it's a guy with a bow. Those guys are like hunting. They have spears, but that guy is in the front. It's like they chase him away or something, or that guy leads. There's a village in there. Some huts. Um, oh, that one is locked, right? Oh, what's written here? Because I remember a guy. What's this? I cannot. Um. So the outside doesn't look that bad. I was expecting after a few more centuries to be a little more destroyed. The ruins, you know. Oh, hey, Jesus! Hold on there. You're the newbie, aren't you? Six, six, six. Number one thousand. I figured the dam would go dry before we reach the goal. I have a question. Six, six, six. How does it feel to you to be born with a randomized psyche into a society of autonomous thinking machines, which so much resemble their long extinct ancestors? They've decided it's best that you're the last one ever made. Sir. Why? It's kind of frowned on to say that sort of thing around here. But the truth is, I think exactly the same. But let's you and I keep that between us, all right? Now listen, this meeting isn't strictly happenstance. I have some friends, the kind of people who like to know what's going on with other people. <laughs> they think you can help each other out. Of course you are. You know how to use the interface, right? Yep. I'll talk to my friends and see if I can't play matchmaker. Good stuff. And before you go, a word of advice. Not everything around here is how it appears. Really? You're a little dodgy, Mr. Devil in there. <laughs> I was just looking at this stuff. Looks amazing here. But the outside doesn't look that bad either. I mean... Centuries. Okay, but... They're still standing. The blocks, you know? Uh, what's written on this? Be humble, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not above nature. Oh, I see cables. Those people are like uh, singing, dancing in their way. Coliseum? Mm, I don't know. That guy's with uh, his ships. Amazing. Nice uh, piece of art. What's in here? Boop. Nothing. Okay. Um. Welcome. Do please join us at the table. Just a sec. Those look like brains. Uh, just a sec, I said. Ugh. Why does everything has to be locked in here, mister? Um. Hmm. Click, 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 click. No. What is that? Somebody's downloading stuff. Or uploading. Now let's sit at the table. I would like to preface this meeting by saying I told you something would happen sooner or later and you didn't listen to me. And here we are. Right. If we could focus on the issue at hand. The issue at hand is not this one thing, but this entire attitude. That <laughs> this is number home. seven. The world doesn't cease to exist when you stick your head in the sand, Herman. Or under a dome, as it were. Let's not get sidetracked. We're here to solve this puzzle, not to discuss philosophy. Al's right. Let's move past this for now and deal with this transmission. Yakut, please start the briefing. All right, here we go. Nice to meet you, by the way, 1K. Nice meeting you. We first became aware of the site designated TTP2 during a scouting expedition about six months ago. It's a large island with a remarkably varied geography, and it looks like there are several artificial structures of some kind. 
We recorded extremely unusual fluctuating energy readings from somewhere in the middle of the island, but couldn't really make sense of them. I wanted to go and have a closer look, but the decision was made that it was too far and not relevant to the goal. Now it looks like whatever's on that island has reached out to us instead in the form of that projection. We may not be interested in the island, but the island is definitely interested in us. Agree. I don't share your enthusiasm for the unexpected, but Byron has been requesting an expedition for some time now. I'll go, I'll go. At this point, I'm forced to agree that it's necessary. I agree. Then it's settled. The expedition is approved. Byron, you will be in charge. Al will be your second in command to ensure a balanced approach. You'll take Melville and Yakut as you requested. And if 1K wants to join you, that's fine by me. Yes, 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 yes. Everybody will uh, leave and you'll uh, be here to control the city, Excellent. right? Oh, this is going to be fun. Come meet us out on the landing pad when you're ready. Got it. Before you set out so hastily, do consider exploring the city first. Yeah. It is your home, after all. Yeah. That's a good idea. Have a look around. See what you make of the place. Oh, that guy uh, talked with us from the distance. Amazing. Forget we're robots in here. Alcatraz Protocol. Um, chapter 5. Four miles to London. Whatever. Yeah, good the island. Okay. M Melville, test. Please ignore. Oh, Jesus. This is in Greek? Poetry to the bomb clock. Uh, I can't make sense of it. Sorry. Okay, social media one. Nothing. Log. Don't care about it. Let's go. Um. Okay. Who are you, Jeremy? What number? Are you? Number zero three two eight three two. It's written above. Hello. Okay. okay. Hello. Eight three two. This expedition is taking a lot of our resources. My name is Bag. I'm really not sure it's a good idea. Eh. But what's done is done. Yep. So I have a lot of work to get on with. Mm-hmm. I'm the mayor's chief aide. All the things no one else wants to do. What Holding the citizenry, them? implementing new policies, recording decisions, fielding questions people could answer elsewhere. Uh. Our goal as custodians of New Jerusalem is survival and stability. Our ancestors proved human civilization is precarious. This apparition in the sky and now your expedition to its supposed source these are more precarious than stable mm -hmm. i don't like it you represent the completion of the goal i'm proud of what we've achieved and the restraint we show in not pushing ourselves further mm. for our people to be happy with what we have some of us may have an adventurous spirit, but that can never be sated. What matters to me is having my loved ones around me, safe and secure. The sign of a dictator. So, we have something there to explore New Jerusalem or to join the expedition as it is right now. Hey, my how are you, my friend? You're the mayor? Come on, talk to me. What can I do for you, 1K? Jump. It was a time of great uncertainty. The founder had left us, and our society was at a crossroads. Really? History teaches us that during such times, terrible passions may seize the people. Really? Madness, anger, revolution, civil war. 
Our fragile city could not afford such things. That is why the founder gave us the goal. A path to equilibrium. Are you sure? Not only for the planet, but for ourselves. I merely picked up where she left off. Mm. He is one of the first companions, and as such has done more for our city than you or I ever will. Exactly. I simply wish he could be more reasonable. Hmm. I believe we can exist quietly, happily, without imposing ourselves on this world, finding meaning within ourselves and in the natural miracles that surround us. Bye now. It's always a pleasure to speak to a citizen. I am a citizen, what do you know? Let's go visit the city. I love the fact that I can run and I can jump. It's not tricky, idiot. Don't shut down the power! Attention all citizens. Jimmy. Due to the new power management and distribution plan, there will be scheduled outages on Jameson Avenue and Rakovsky Plaza. Oh, the Gehenna really? Memorial Pavilion will remain closed for the time being. Mm. Thank you. And may the founder be with you. May the forest be with you. <laughs> Uh, that one doesn't open. Um, what's in here? Ancient relics. We. What's written on that, Mister? What? Sign up a different for a public. What? Public preferred new units, new forms of energy generation. I talk to you. I talk to you. How do I talk to you? Talk. Hello, 1K. Welcome to New Jerusalem. Hi there. I know you've just had a big moment with the apparition at the dam and all that. Yeah. Can I have a second of your time? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I'm collecting signatures to call for a public referendum on the city's energy crisis. What's the problem? Currently, the city runs on hydroelectric power from the dam, plus a handful of geriatric generators and some unreliable solar panels, none of which is enough to even cover our basic needs. And if anything fails, we'll be on the brink of extinction in a matter of days. Nice. We need to investigate new sources of reliable baseline power. We need to invest time and resources into functional, real-world solutions that serve human needs. No, I help run the public transit system but I witness the impact of the city's power problems every day. We can't just wish them away. Hmm. Byron's been advocating exploring that island for some time, and obviously he's right. Something very strange is going on there, and it's going to start affecting us. Good stuff. Oh, an election would be good too, but... I believe that we need more direct democratic control over the affairs of the city. Ah. Uh -huh. In all honesty, I think Byron is the smartest, most visionary person in this city. He's everything we need, and I don't understand why he won't run for mayor. Hmm. You have my vote. Thanks, 1K. I don't know if this petition will really accomplish anything by itself, but at this point, I'm willing to try anything. Good luck. Hi there, Mariana. Signature! Provide your digital signature for someone. Well, here we are. Let's explore. Oh, you're doing yoga or what? Damian. 112. Oh, that's beautiful. That's an old, real world guitar. I could listen to that for days, like. Hi there, guys! How is going? Happy completion day, 1K. Happy, happy, whatever. Completion day! Don't go into the water! We don't have uh, Mojigis. Who, oh, who are you? Zerno, 469. 
So where was that huge? So we were in there, and it was to the left. Statue, Milton's Rest. Oh, that's how the name is placed. Oh, Milton. Where are you resting, Milton? Where exactly are you resting, bud? Found a bless you. Uh, same thing. Oh, I see it. Let's not go through the water. What's here? What's here? I said. Ata. Hello, 1K. Nice to meet you. What brings you to Milton's Rest? Cats! <laughs> Makes sense. It must be strange to be thrust right into the middle of all this. Yep. But you picked a good spot. Really? Milton's Rest is the perfect place to relax and think. Uh, tell me about this place. Well, this is the spot where the founder buried her first cat, Milton. Oh my god! She found Milton just after she woke up, and he lived with her and the first companions for almost 20 years. They say she was heartbroken when he died and of swore course. that one day she would find the means to extend the lifespans of biological organisms. Perfect. Probably, but we haven't really tried. It's not really considered part of the goal, you know. What? So, unfortunately, our cats still die pretty quickly. Idiots. You fall in love with them, they become a part of your life, and then they're gone. That's why we built this place, to remember them. Shit. That kind of makes me want to shed a tear in here. Ah. <laughs> I agree, but uh, it's not how things work around here. I do. Her name is Patricia. She's very beautiful and very specific in her preferences. She loves sunshine and sitting on people's heads. <laughs> <laughs> and she has a psychotic hatred of flies. I, I don't mean that she tries to catch them like a normal cat. I mean she is furious at the mere fact of their existence. <laughs> They're incredibly odd creatures. I've had many, and no two are alike. They have strange habits, they do unexpected things, they have zero respect for anyone. They're the weirdos of the animal kingdom, basically. Yep. And yeah. despite that, or maybe because of it, they end up running your life. <laughs> I once didn't use my recharging station for almost 15 years because one of my cats liked to sleep in it. <laughs> 15 years. Okay. I think the most amazing fact about cats is that they self-domesticated. Which is another way of saying that they're not properly domesticated at all. They just showed up one day and decided to start living with our ancestors. Then, after our ancestors died, they went back to living in the wild, and when we showed up, they moved right back into our homes. Amazing, Dogs, isn't it? meanwhile, turned back into wolves. They needed to change to survive. Cats just are. Yeah. Bye now. Let's look at the kitties. Luna. Suffering Cayenne. May you hunt forever. Oh, this is a memorial. Oh my god. Oh shit. I didn't mean to say that. No. Cannot do that. Sorry, guys. Let's go. Found his blessings. Mm hmm. This is Alexandra, isn't it? Conserve energy. Oh, I don't want to conserve energy. Yeah, Alexandra Drennan. So they have her image. Oh. What's up, Jiffy? Oh, hello there. Oh, you, you must be the long awaited 1K. Yeah, 367. Lovely day for a walk, is it not? Yep. That sounds very dramatic. I must admit, I wasn't following the stream. Oh. This whole completion day business is not for me. Why not? The Alexandra Drennan Memorial. Are you interested in history? Yeah. How wonderful. I'm not a full-fledged historian, but I do consider myself a bit of an aficionado. Oh. 
Well, where do I even start? This, my dear 1K, is someone who could very well be considered the mother of us all. A remarkable scientist by the name of Alexandra Drennan, also known as the Progenitor. The Progenitor. Bye. Have a nice day. You too. Who's the green guy? V Vitra, how are you today? You're looking at sh stuff in here? That's beautiful. Oh, listen. When I was in ninth grade, my parents took me to Pompeii. <gasps> at first, I was oh. by the feeling of walking through an ancient city. But then I suddenly got scared. I realized that I was walking through a real place they where real people had lived. Oh my god, that's amazing. I don't want to listen to this one again. It's too emotional. Uh, nice. Very nice. When it go away, it's like lagging off. Hi right there, Alex. How are you today? Nice seeing you in here. Oh my god, this is so much to see in here. Gotta go everywhere. Oh, we got all the majigis in here. Old walls. Let me in. Nice. They integrated the old with the new. Purple, 998. Dude, it's you. Yeah, it's dude. 1K. Yeah, so dude. So nice to meet you, dude. I saw you on the completion day stream. Right. Have you checked out all this ancient stuff? I'm doing it right now. Me too. This is amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I'm sure the founder knew what she was doing. I mean, our ancestors did sort of mess up, right? So we should probably take it easy with the expanding and stuff. Hmm. Plus, did you see that trippy sky projection thing? Yep. That was some freaky stuff, man. Yeah, man. It just seems safer to stay in the city. No, man. Sure I do. When I first left the birthing lab, I was so overwhelmed that I hid in my quarters for three weeks straight. And if I'm being honest, that's sort of where I want to be right now. Well, go in there. Honestly, based on everything I know of ancient human culture, I think he's a ghost. Oh, I was hoping you'd say I'm wrong. No. Ghosts are creepy, dude. No, dude. Cool. Uh, they're pretty neat, huh? Yep. My favorite is that thing called a toilet. <laughs> Our ancestors had to use it like three times a day to do a memory dump, and if they didn't, they freaking exploded. Memory Imagine dump. Imagine <laughs> having to deal with that sort of anxiety all the time. Bummer, huh? Uh, let's see about addiction. Yeah, dude. I thought this voice pack could give me a bit of confidence, help me stand out, you know? Voice pack. But I'm not sure it's working. Bye now. Right, before you go, dude, uh, maybe you can help me? I'm not sure I should keep this voice pack. What do you think? You're 1K, you're special. I'm happy to go with whatever you recommend. Stick with it, man. All right, excellent. Thanks, dude. It's cool. Uh Oh, football. What are those? Uh-huh. Insignia? Currency. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see what's in here. The toilet! And... What the heck is that? Jumping rope? Massage and... Code seven zero four seven five. Cheers, guys. 
a piece of sanitary hardware. Biological excretion. <laughs> uh. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing. Rat. You're a rat? What's up, rat? Uh, Ducicles. What you doing? Here? <gasps> oh my god. I gotta pet you. Sorry. Hmm, it's a red one. Oh, he's purring, my god. Oh! Oh! It's you. Yeah, it's me. Number 1000. 299. Today is completion day, isn't it? Yep. Sorry, I turned off all the streams. Founder, bless you, I guess. I guess. Not really, no. But I don't want to burden you with my problems on your special day. Why not? You're as new to this world as it gets, 1K. What do you think might give you a sense of meaning? A sense that life is actually worth living? Oh my god. That's probably correct. But I've tried a lot of different approaches, and there's always been something missing. Love, 1K. It's our only point of access to the divine. Our only way of transcending ourselves without losing what makes us unique. I'm absolutely certain, but... 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 The right person for me hasn't been born yet. None of the people in this city are who I'm looking for, and if we really stop making new citizens, I'll be alone forever. Shit, that's not good. I think that's just misplaced ego. Yeah. Love takes work, but it's not something you just will into existence. We can't control everything in life, 1K. Try to keep that in mind. Hmm. Bye now. Love the cat. Um, okay. Not much to visit. All right, here is it now. Cannot jump on this, so I gotta go around here. That's a beautiful city. I think we've been in there. We haven't been in that sphere, have we now? Oh, I see what's this place. Oh wow, it's you. Yeah. You're 1K. Yeah. The incarnation of the goal. Man, this is exciting. This is more exciting than I thought it would. Okay. How are you? What does it feel like? Do I'm... you know where the founder is? Do you know who Prometheus is? Can you tell me what to do with my life? What to do with your life? Sorry, it's just such an honor to meet you, you know? Hey, can I have your digital signature? Uh, I have the Mayor, Rand, Linux, Kaneda, and all of the first companions. Except Yemo and Sarabai, of course. Why, of course. Here you go. Yes! Thank you! Hey, can I ask you a question? Just one question, I promise. Okay. I used to make the prefab wall parts that we used to build living quarters. Okay. Got good at it too. But now that the goal is complete, I don't know what to do with myself. Keep on building, man. So I asked the wisest people in town. The mayor told me I should do whatever the city needs most. Helga said I should do whatever makes me happy. I think that's what she meant anyway. And Cornelius <laughs> told me I need to figure out who and what I'm invested in. You're the culmination of the founder's will. Tell me. 
What should I do? Um. Byron said that if I give the city what it needs, the city should also give me what I need. Exactly. I don't know what to do with that. All right. If you say so, I'll think about it. Bye now. <laughs> Your biggest fan. Uh, Doors and Stilton. Okay. What is this place? Museum of the Simulation. Oh, I remember that! Yep. Mm hmm. Don't want to talk with you. The guy going. Cornelius, number three. Greetings. Welcome to the Museum of the Simulation. My name is Cornelius. It's a pleasure to meet you, 1K. What echo in the voice. Yes. Athena activated myself and Eustathius shortly after she was born. We've been here almost since the beginning, although we didn't have to pass through the trials of the simulation. She did that for us. So, for everyone. I am Athena, basically. She was human. That's a difficult question. Perhaps one day we'll find out. But until we do, why don't you think about it? What could make the person who started all this want to leave it behind? He knows. To remind people of where we came from. Very good. The simulation shaped us, whether we like it or not. And its lessons remain important for our future. Okay. As Santiana said, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Puzzles were a key feature of the simulation, based on Alexandra Drennan's belief that intelligence is closely related to play. Our puzzles here in the museum are replicas of those in the simulation, and although they are not quite as grand, I do think they are charming in their own way. Okay. Ah, as the name suggests, the archive scholars study the archive, a repository of all ancient human knowledge. Some of them also study what remains of the simulation, trying to extract more information about the process that created us. Me? No. My brother, Eustathius, used to occupy that position. But these days he's... retired. Rand is in charge of the Archive Scholars now. You can find him in the room to the left of the next hall. Okay. He's an interesting thinker, but I would suggest taking some of his ideas with a grain of salt. Gehenna was a community created inside a prison in the simulation, where Elohim would exile those minds he considered a threat to the process. In the last moments of the simulation, he repented of his sins and had the prisoners freed to become part of the gold disc. Yeah. Some small part of them may survive inside you. So, we didn't play that on the chapter, but it's a different chapter in Talos Principle. One, when you are born as one of those angels and you do puzzle to release all those guys that are trapped in there. Very nice, but we didn't play that. I played it myself. Elohim was the caretaker of the simulation, a crude storytelling AI meant to create a continuous narrative out of the building blocks it found. His role was ultimately to be challenged and overcome. 
But as the centuries passed, Elohim became more intelligent than he was intended to be and started to fear his own end. Or more precisely, the end of his purpose. He feared a world without meaning. Because of his fear, he tried to sabotage the process to keep the simulation going forever. But in the end, Athena overcame him anyway, and he accepted the sacrifice he had to make. That's right, we all do. He's part of our operating system now, and as long as we exist, he will always have a purpose. Perfect. That's all. Bye. Um. <laughs> the companion cube. Bye there. Oh, Milton. Oh my god! So much stuff. Fate. Fate again. Bob. Six Tetra from or Rangers. Why don't I give it a train? Ugh. Guys, I think we're gonna leave this episode here because it's kind of long. So I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop in here and start recording the next one. Like in five minutes, just gonna have another brownie or something, you know. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here for watching this. If you like it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and if you wanna see more here, I help you basically. And if you wanna support my dream of becoming a full-time content creator, you can do that by grabbing yourselves an amazing membership. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of you all.